I like my tools to be mobile. I've spent a lot of time fixing things in remote locations, and until now have lacked anything portable that can cut through heavy steel. In this video, I'll be making my own thermic lances, which use pure oxygen to ignite iron, creating temperatures hot enough to melt solid rock, let alone any nuts or bolts I need cut off. The function of these lances is similar to the burning of steel wool when it's spun on a wire. In that case, the steel is able to ignite because it's finely divided enough for oxygen at about 21% concentration in the air to rapidly bond with a lot of iron at once. The reaction is highly exothermic and will continue as long as air keeps getting forced into the fibers, or until the iron has completely rusted away. Thermic lances rely on the same chemical reaction, but rather than being composed of finely divided iron strands and a low concentration of oxygen, they use a much denser iron tube as fuel, compensating for the lower surface area by feeding the flame with a pure oxygen source. Industrial versions of thermic lances would typically use the oxygen supply from a large oxyacetylene torch, but since I want my design to be lightweight and highly mobile, I'll be using small disposable oxygen cylinders. I've purchased a specially made fitting that allows me to connect to these oxygen tanks and feed the gas through a 1 quarter inch tube. Don't try this design for yourself, as the tube could easily catch fire. It works as a proof of concept. For the thermic lances themselves, they're really just a 5 8 inch brake line. One end is cut off so it can be inserted into the vinyl tube. Now to catch a steel brake line on fire, even in a pure oxygen environment, takes a really hot ignition source. Thermic lances usually require a secondary oxyacetylene torch just to get them started, but using my previously acquired knowledge, I realized they could just as easily be ignited with another source of burning iron, which brings me back to the steel wool. With a small amount in the end of my brake line, the wool can be ignited easily, and if I slowly turn on the oxygen while it's still smoldering, it becomes more than hot enough to ignite the lance. At this point, with the oxygen flowing, the brake line burns from the end like an ultra-hot sparkler and can be used to cut through just about anything. I just have to be careful to turn off the oxygen before the brake line burns all the way down to the vinyl tube, which like I mentioned earlier, would easily catch fire. If you enjoyed this video, leave me a comment. I still read them all. You can see more of my videos on my YouTube channel, Nighthawk in Light. Don't forget to subscribe and select or receive email updates so you don't miss future videos. Thanks for watching.